Hey friends, today we're talking about the Bee Haptic Vest. I got this, well, I got this a few months back and I really wanted to put it through this pace. Ooh. <laughs> and I've really been wanting to put it through its paces before I sent you a full review. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at what's the purpose of this thing, should you buy it, and all of that other stuff. So, let's go. So the Bee Haptic Vest is a wearable haptic feedback device that immerses the user in their virtual reality experience with touch and motion. The vest contains 40 vibrotactile motors that give precise and dynamic haptic feedback in response to actions in the VR environment, enhancing the realism and intensity of the experience. So here are some of the reasons why the Bee Haptic Vest may be a good purchase for you. Number one, it immerses you in your VR experience. The Bee Haptic Vest adds a new level of immersion to your VR experience by providing you with haptic feedback, fucking duh, <laughs> in response to actions and events in your virtual environment. It makes the experience feel more realistic and engaging. You wanna get shot? Well, nobody wants to get shot, but when you get shot in VR, you feel it. When you the rain hits you in VR, you feel it. It's, it's really quite weird. Secondly, it has customizable sensations. The vest allows you to customize the different sensations you experience, providing you with a greater control over your VR experience. You can adjust the intensity, duration, and location of the haptic feedback to suit, get it, suit your, to suit your preferences. Number three, the Bee Haptic Vest is compatible with various VR systems and games, making it in a really versatile device. It also supports multiplayer games, allowing you to share the experience with friends and family. And who wouldn't wanna just shoot each other and feel it when you're shooting each other or getting punched in the chest? It's a, well, it doesn't, now, does it feel like a real punch? Not really, but I mean, it, it gives you the acknowledgement that you got punched, so it's kinda cool. Not only that, the B Haptic Vest is lightweight and comfortable, and it's easy to wear. Thanks to the breathable fabric and adjustable straps, you can wear it for a long period of time without feeling weighed down or uncomfortable. It's in no way a weight vest, but it is a lightweight breathing vest that doesn't actually feel like you're wearing much at all. I tighten it really tight because I really want to feel it, but beyond that, it's like just another shirt with a couple bumps on it. Apart from gaming, the Bee Haptic Vest can be used as a creative tool to enhance your virtual experiences such as music, design, and much more. It even has a little headphone jack at the top, so if you want to feel your music, you totally can. Overall, the Bee Haptic Vest can be a great purchase for people looking to add an extra layer of immersion to their VR experiences. Is it necessary for every game? No. In fact, not every game can even use it. Um, it can actually be more cumbersome than anything else with some games. Haptic devices in VR have a really promising future as they enhance the immersive experience by adding a sense of touch. As technology advances, haptic devices are gonna get more sophisticated, providing users with a more realistic and multi-sensory experience. The introduction of haptic gloves, suits, and body appendages are already at a high level of immersion in VR. Just check out Jasmine in VR. Her channel covers a lot of this stuff. But with further developments in haptic feedback and sensory simulation, haptic devices have a potential to be an integral part of not only VR, but our everyday lives. In the future, haptic devices can be used in fields like medicine, engineering, entertainment, and education. In fact, some of the most expensive consumer level haptic devices on the market include the Haptic VR Suit by Tesla Suit, which can sell for over $5,000. It's also worth noting that the prices may fluctuate over time and be contingent on factors such as availability, demand, and other vendor specific considerations. But as you can see, if you're someone with an interest in haptics, I can definitely recommend the B Haptic Vest as seen in this video. It's easy to use, quick to link up, and there are tons of options for you to feel every inch of your game. As a fitness tool, it doesn't really add anything. However, linking it to Tetris Effect Connected, one of my favorite games, is an amazing experience. I'll be completely honest, it's difficult to convey this to the audience, but my recommendation is to track down one of these, try it out, and then decide. My favorite games I've used it for so far are Arizona Sunshine and Wanderer, so it definitely has my seal of approval for taking your gaming experience up a notch. My name is Ari with Fit Pro VR, and don't forget to get your haptic feedback gaming session in today.
Oh, and if you're just checking this out, this is my new filming studio space. I wanted to touch it up a little bit and add uh, some cool shit to the background, so here we are.